It's a long story. All right, so the show opens up with the pillars all coming out. When it's a total WWE segment. I mean, total WWE. There's going to be a multi-person match. One guy comes out. Before he can speak, the next guy comes out. Before he can speak, the next guy comes out. And then they did this. I did not think this was a great segment at all. They're doing these promos on each other, and the fans are quiet. They're not into it. And they're all saying things that, I mean, if you watch the show, it's just it's out of character. Like, uh, you know, Darby says that he has known Sammy the longest, and he likes him the most. Why does he like him more than the Jungle Boy? And Darby says that Jack was part of the California clique, so he had to work the hardest to get here. Or the least hardest. But even like a week ago, everyone was talking about how MJF had the easiest road here. And then he talks about living in his car and everything. And then Jack calls Darby antisocial, unfriendly, and rude to everybody backstage. Which is like, that's news to me. He's rude to everybody? That's never been in the story. And then he says, you're only here because you didn't make it in your first love as a skateboarder. And I was like, well, he is a skateboarder. <laughs> He's still a skateboarder. And then Jack says Sammy is a dirtbag, but he respects him. So, like, everybody loves Sammy, but Sammy's like a heel. But he calls him a scumbag, and then everybody cheers because he says a bad word. And then, you know, they just keep going on and on and on. And finally, MJF comes out. And the crowd does go nuts for MJF. And he takes a shot at Britt Baker because they're in Pittsburgh. And then he announces we're having a tournament. And the winner of the tournament will get me at double or nothing. But there, one person has to have a buy. So I'm going to pull a name out of the hat. That person gets a buy. Well, you would think the heel would get the buy. But instead, Darby gets the buy. And the babyface getting the buy is, is celebrating. Yeah! I got an easier road! <laughs> and then the winner of the Sammy Jungle Boy match in the main event will face Darby. Next week, and that winner, that person faces MJF at the paper. That's the storyline here. So it was long. I mean, and it was not good. The main event. I was so disgusted. Why does a guy like that, that's been a champ for so long, have to have three guys come in and help him? Disgusting, isn't it? Yes, it is so disgusting. There was a lot of great matches. There were the first day. The second day was back to this same old crap. Her favorite was Gunther versus Drew versus Sheamus. Oh, Inter- I hate Gunther. You hate Gunther? Really? Mm-hmm. Why do you hate about him? Just doesn't look right to me. <laughs> it doesn't look right to you. Okay. All right. His favorite was the first 34 minutes of Cody Roman. His least favorite was the final three seconds of Cody Roman. Granny, do you agree with any of these uh, opinions here? What was that? I think she fell asleep. Yeah. Bailey was on Wheel of Fortune. Mm-hmm. And by E. By okay. E? It said by E. Big E. I Big guess. E. Okay. Big E. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> For your birthday this year, I'm not going to get you something decent. You're going to get nothing. Granny. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Comic book villain. I keep saying this. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.